Okay, back again. I swear this is the last room that I have to take care of. Also, I'm sorry if this is wiggly. I'm recording on my phone right now because I'm having issues. We're not even gonna get into it, okay? I just got home from work. It's probably 5.40 maybe. I came home, took Bodie out, played with him for a bit, changed my clothes. I've got to get this room done. It's pitch dark outside right now. I'd much rather be in my bed, but this room has to get done. Mia's coming home for Thanksgiving. This is obviously where she stays. This is, this is what it looks like. So I gotta go through it all. I'm going to declutter some things. I've got some baby stuff of Mila's that we just don't use anymore. And my first thought was, okay, well, I'll just gather it all together. I'll take it to Once Upon a Child, try to get some of my money back out of it, right? And then I was like, I'll do, like, I'll, that's a good thought. I'll put it all in my car or I'll put it all in my room somewhere and think that I'm gonna go take it back or take it out there. And then I never will, or I'll ride around with it forever. Anyways, it came to my thoughts this morning as I was in the shower, as most good thoughts do. Sorry, I, just, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, um, I have a neighbor and she has foster children and she also babysits. So I know she's got little ones over there and I think I'm just gonna get it all together and then go next door uh, maybe tomorrow when it's not pitch dark outside and ask her if she would like it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get all that stuff together. I'm gonna clean all this stuff up. I also have to find the remote to this fan and this light because I can't find anything, nothing. Like there's a lot of stuff in here. Anyways, we just gotta get to it because I wanna get finished so I can lay down and put my moo on. I'm also gonna go ahead and link some of my favorite moo's in this video. It's gonna be in those little product things. Go check them out if you want to, in case you need some Christmas ones or, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Christmas is coming. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me go see if my camera work, wants to work. I swear. I, I'm so tired, y'all. I can't even think straight and form a whole sentence, but we're going to get it done like that. Okay. Let's go. We got, we got stuff to do. Come on. Come on. Let's go. So my main goal was to just go ahead and move everything out because this room is just not big enough for me to go through it all in here. So I wanted to move it all out into the living room so I can look over it, see what I wanted to get rid of, see what I needed to go into another area of the house, and um, just make it a little bit easier on myself. So that's what I did. I pulled it all out, and then I realized, oh my gosh, that was a lot of stuff. It didn't look, like I knew it was a lot of stuff, but it didn't look that bad. It just looked like, you know, a handful of big things, like Milo's little seat and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it was a lot more than that. So I just I went ahead and got it all pulled out into the living room just to make it a lot easier on myself so I could go through it all cohesively. Okay, so this is almost everything that was in the room. I decided to pull it all out because I have more space to go through it out here. And these are the major big things that are in there. Bubby, get, Bubby, get. No. So, these are mainly just blankets and towels. And I'm gonna go through that stuff because I really wanna get rid of a lot of these other blankets and comforters. I am giving a lot of this stuff to my sister, but I still have a ton. And then I took the pack and play down because we don't use it really. And it does take up a lot of space. So that other little table that the TV used to sit on in the corner, it's now back in the closet where it originally came from. This came out of my office and I'm gonna leave that in here. And then that way it's just, it'll be easier for me to go through this. Once I go through all that. I swear you guys, it felt like every time I picked something up and moved it, there were 48 things below it. I don't know how this happens. And I promise you guys, I declutter stuff. I have video proof of it. You guys have seen me go through things. I honestly don't know how this house has held all of this stuff so gracefully, as one might say. I mean, I don't think you could walk into my house and look around and be like, this girl's got a bunch of crap everywhere and it needs to be gone through. Like, I don't feel like my house looked like that. And I would hope that if it did, one of y'all would have told me. I feel like we're, you know, we're friendly enough like that. You guys probably would have told me, get your life together. Um, but there's just, it's everywhere. 
it's everywhere. <laughs> but I'm so glad that this is the last room that I had to go through. And I promise you, if it weren't for the holidays coming up and people coming to the house, I wouldn't have um, probably gotten in here as quickly as I did to get it done because I'm wore out. I'm tired. I'm struggling. Um, but I feel so much better now. Now, there are more things that I need to go through and get rid of. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to calm down on the decluttering for right this moment and just focus on getting the rest of my house put back together. Y'all know I've been talking about these rugs. I also put up a little post on my uh, not my Instagram. I think it was my community page on YouTube and asked y'all's opinions on the rugs that I have picked out. I still don't know what I'm doing y'all. I honestly don't. Every room's going to need a rug. Um, I, yeah, every room's going to need a rug. And a lot of you guys told me that I should put a round rug underneath my dining room table and, um, maybe have it similar to the living room rug, which I think is a great idea. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but when I first got that round dining room table, I got a round rug to go under it. It was gorgeous. I loved it and it fit perfectly in there. And then one day I was cleaning and I had moved it so I can get the floor clean and Reuben hung it outside on the banister out back of the stairs or side door, whatever. Anyway, he put it outside on the banister and I asked him multiple times to bring it in. And I will say, I'm not going to put him at whole blame for this because I could have just went and got it and brought it in, but I'm not the one that put it out there. Okay. I didn't put it out there. It didn't need to go out there, but it was out there. Anyway, the next day it was out there and torrential downpour, torrential downpour. There was no save in that rug. I probably could have taken it somewhere and had it cleaned, but I wasn't doing that because at that point now it smelled like outside. It smelled like rain and it smelled like a wet dog and I wasn't bringing it back in here. So I've not purchased another rug yet. But I definitely need to. Um, anyway, I'm showing you here that I've got these diapers that I'm going to keep. I bought them in the size, excuse me, I bought them in the size um, that Mila needs. That way I have diapers here at the house and I don't have to use Logan and Carlene's when they bring her over here. Anyway, I was showing you that they were pull-ups. There, there was nowhere on that package, nowhere, to say that those were pull-ups. So we're not getting rid of them because they're the same size and I can slide them up over her little tail just as easy as I could wrap a diaper around it. All right. So I did have a pack of smaller diapers that doesn't fit her anymore. And that's going to go along with some of the other stuff that I'm going to take next door. I have a feeling if she doesn't have any baby babies anymore over there, then she probably does know somebody that would be able to use them. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do with that stuff. And then I also took advantage of the shelf that little bookshelf thing that's back into the closet and I'm going to have all of our toilet paper and paper towels that are, um, you know, handy for upstairs. Reuben now has an, not an obsession. I won't say that. Reuben is now onto Sam's, um, with the toilet paper and the paper towels. He used to be one of those types of people that had to be like the best of the best, like the bounty perfect paper towels and the, you know, $20, per six pack toilet paper. He's not like that anymore. And we love that. So he will buy the big bulk things of toilet paper and paper towels, but it's downstairs and there's nothing worse than me being in the bathroom. And I'm like, Oh, I need toilet paper and there ain't none. Okay. I got to go downstairs. So I wanted to make sure we got some of that stuff back up here. So it would be readily available for when we needed it. But a lot of this stuff here, like these comforters and sheets that are in the floor, I'm going to keep those. They just need to be washed, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Also, um, I'm bringing in the vacuum, the um, robot vacuum, as well as my Bissell Crosswave. I'm going to bring it in here. You guys told me enough that it needed to come out of the kitchen, and I wholeheartedly agree. So I'm just going to go ahead and utilize this little space right here, because we don't use this room a lot. Um... So I think it'll be perfectly fine in here. So I just went ahead and brought those to this side of the room. And then I'm going to get everything wiped down. I decided also, you probably just saw it where I pulled out those curtains from, <clears throat> excuse me, from one of those little bags. And I just threw those into the dryer with a wet um, fabric softener sheet. And I'm going to get the wrinkles thrown out of those. And I'm just going to go ahead and change these curtains because although I think the little wispy white see-through curtains are cute, um, I just, I'm over it, okay? So we're going to get rid of those. I think I paid $8 for 
both of those panels at Walmart at one point. So they're going directly into the trash. I'm not going to hang on to it. I don't need to. So those went to the trash and I put these ones back up. I knew there was a reason I kept these. I knew there was a reason. But I think it makes the room look so much better. You guys are going to have to tell me. Anyway, you can also see that Reuben got this bed put back together. We can all say thank you, Reuben. So this is done now. Curtains are back up. I had just washed the stuff on this bed. Yes, I'm standing on it with my feet. No, don't care because I'm going to end up washing it again before Mia gets here. So it's perfectly fine. To be honest with you, I'm probably going to go ahead and go to the store and get new stuff for this bed because as much as I love Reuben with all of my heart and soul, he swears up and down this is a full-size bed. It ain't. It's a twin. It's just twin. And he bought all the stuff for it. You know, he bought all these bed clothes and they're all full. So they're all too big. So the sheet is just slip sliding everywhere. The fitted sheet ain't fitted. And um, I just want something else. <laughs> I'm probably just going to go with like white sheets. Um, and that'll be perfectly fine in here. But I want something fun for a rug. You guys are going to have to help me out with that too. I don't know if I want something girly or just neutral. I don't know. Y'all are going to have to let me know. But you're also going to have to forgive me if this is all over the place. I'm talking about the voiceover. It's currently 10.02 p.m. I spent all afternoon, evening um, getting this done because I want to get it out tomorrow. And I'm trying really hard to be more consistent with my uploading. I have been uploading every two days, I think, for a while. Not a, not a long while, but, you know, a couple weeks or whatever. Anyway, I hope that you guys are enjoying that and I hope that pays off because... I just really want this to be um, a good year for my channel, so I want to try to start it off right. Again, if you guys share this with people that you think might enjoy it, that could be the greatest gift of all that you could give me. Um, but anyways, I want, I want to get this done so I can get it up tomorrow is the thing. Um, but I also had Braden on FaceTime with me this whole time. He was giving me encouragement. We were talking about Thanksgiving, um, you know, just life stuff, and I always like to do that with him. I'm just grateful that... We have that relationship. I've seen so many people my age that have children that don't have the type of relationship that I do with mine. And I hate that. It just breaks my heart. But I'm grateful all the same. I don't know if it's because I'm, it's getting close to Thanksgiving and Christmas that I'm just getting so sappy here recently. But I am. Also, I realized that my last video, I told y'all like 10 different things I was going to put in there and I forgot to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and put up a couple little pictures and videos of Mila's birthday here. That way you can see them. I know I forgot. I'm so, so sorry. I, it, I don't know. Life. Okay. Life. I love y'all and I'm sorry, but I will put that stuff up here for you guys to see. She had an incredible time. I'm so proud of her. I love her so stinking much. There's no reason that any, any child should be that adorable. I really don't think there is. Anyways, now it's time for me to get this stinking pack and play put back down. And I swear to you, I had pack and plays when my boys were little and I know how to put them back down. For some reason, this had been giving me such an irritation. But I did figure out there's not only one button on those edges, there's two. And I found it. So we got that all together and I was able to put it away and wrap it up in its little case. I'm telling you, I was struggling. Like that thing has been that way for, well, since we took everything out to do the floor. So at least a couple weeks and I finally got it to go down. Now I do this and overnight she's going to miraculously just start walking and running everywhere and I'm going to need to get it back out. But at least it's right here and I still have the space and it's perfectly fine. I can always get it back out and use it. I also realized that I have been talking this entire time um, and we're like 14 minutes in and there's not that much longer left of the video. So I'm just going to keep on talking if that's okay with you guys. Um, I decided not to, I was going to take the credenza and the TV and put it back over in the corner, but I decided not to because the vent is right there and I don't want to cover that up. So I just used that corner to put her little jumper and her car seat and bathtub and then her pack and play fit nicely right there in that little hole. So I got all the stuff put away. I got everything wiped down, as I said, and everything looks good in here. I'm just so excited that it's done. Like I said, I, I did not want to get in here and do it. I'm going to be honest with you. I really did not want to. It has been raining all day today. It was pitch dark by the time I got off from work, and I just wanted to come home and get in my cozy little bed. I think it's the weather. It's getting me a little depresso. I mean, I'm fine. I just, I would just much rather not be doing this. 
but I need to push myself. I need to do things when I have the opportunity to do them and not put them off until last minute because that's one of the worst things that I do to myself with a lot of things. I think this year is just going to be so totally different for me because I've done a lot of reflecting on myself and how I do things on a daily basis and I'm just... I'm not happy with that. So the only way to make myself happy is to change the things that I'm doing and hold myself accountable for that. So instead of just coming home all the time and giving myself a pity party because I'm tired or my body hurts or whatever, I'm just going to get my stuff done. And look at this. Look what happens when you come home and get your stuff done. All right. This is how it looks. I'm so tired, hot and sweaty, but I'm also extremely proud of myself for getting this done honestly so i got all of the side tables wiped off i got the bed made i decided to change those curtains which i'm so glad i was tired of those little sheer ones and those look really good in here that stuff i'm gonna wash um, because i'm keeping that and then i've just got Miles' little bouncer her car seat and her bathtub here tv's there pack and play dresser i decided to move that stuff in here it looks so much better and all I need is a rug. So while I was going through all this stuff, I found this other air purifier. I know that Morento had sent me this new one. And honestly, it was like a week before we started to do the floor. So it just got lost in the shuffle. But I wanted to bring it downstairs for Mary Ellen to have. And look how sweet. She's then got all of her Christmas stuff out to start wrapping. And she's got her own little tree downstairs. I love her so stinking much. It's not even funny. But I'm going to go ahead and move this box and stuff around because that's not going to be here forever. It's just going to be down here for a few days. And then I'm just going to put this air purifier right here, right in the middle of the room. That way it can help her out down there. I know sometimes because she's downstairs, for some reason I just feel like it gets stuffy. And I think that this would help her out tremendously. So I wanted to do this for her and I have it. This video is not sponsored, but this was gifted to me by Morento, and I want to say a huge thank you to them for always supporting me and the collaborations that they give me. You guys know I love that Morento that I have upstairs, and I wanted to share this with Mary Ellen because it's here, and why not? So I'll have a link to their website and to this particular air purifier in my description box if you want to check it out. Christmas is coming if it's something that you would like or somebody that you think would like one, then go check them out. It absolutely blows my mind that we're so close to Christmas. It's not even funny. I swear to you, it sneaks up on me every year, and I don't know why, because it's the same day every stinking year. And I'll be honest with you, the only gift that I have bought is for Myla Brooke, and that's that's it. Um, I did send out a, a mass text, and I was like, just give me your lists. This year, I don't want to have to figure out what to get you, and then wonder and worry whether or not you're going to enjoy it. Just give me a list. Give me five things that you want. That's just going to make it so much easier on me. <laughs> it's not even funny. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think probably the week after Christmas or Thanksgiving is when I'm going to get my Christmas stuff up. I know in the YouTube world that's nuts because a lot of people already have their stuff out. That's just how that's just how YouTube works. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. If I put my Christmas stuff out before Thanksgiving, I'm going to be so sick of looking at it by the time Christmas gets here. It's not funny. I am, however, just ecstatic. Cannot wait to see how this house looks with the Christmas decor in it. You guys are probably thinking that I have lost my ever-loving mind and that I've never seen hardwood floors before. It's just because I have had this on my mind for so many years that the fact that it's actually happened, it's just... I don't know what to do with myself. And it's so hard to look at this house this way because it looks like a completely different place, honestly. It's like all of my furniture finally just matches, you know? And I'm just really excited to get a bunch of color in here for Christmas and stuff. And then I think that's probably just going to go ahead and open me up to bigger and better choices of color decor. I'm excited. I can't wait for y'all to um, see what happens. I'm also going to be going to look at rugs over the weekend. I'll probably take you guys along with me for that. I don't know if it'll be here or on the vlog channel. I don't know what's going on anymore, y'all, but I promise you I'll let you know. But we're going to get some new rugs and we're going to make this place look amazing. And I just cannot simply wait. 
but I've got the air purifier down here. I've got it plugged up. This is how it's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and let it get rolling so that way the downstairs is nice and lovely by the time Mary Ellen gets home. I know she's gonna enjoy it. I'm just so glad that I have it that I could take down here and have for her. So this is all of the stuff that I'm gonna take next door. It's just like that little, um, it's like a booster seat. It's like a four in one. It's got that tray that goes around it um, and then can also just be used as a booster seat. That's one of the little play mats where you can lay down and all that jazz. That's like a little, you know, I'm at a loss for words, you guys. You know what that is? And then this thing right here, it's so cute. It's inflatable. So you can sit them inside of it and they can't get anywhere and they won't hurt themselves. But this has like a whole bunch of, um, like that. Oh, buddy's about to lose his mind. It's just little stuff like that all over. It's really, really cute that she's starting to be more mobile now and she's just not going to sit in it. So all of that's going to go to the neighbor. Okay, so that's done. I can be done in here for now. The um, blankets and stuff that I'm keeping, I've got in the washer. I'm going to give them a good run through the wash and then I'll put those away. I'll probably keep those in my closet in my room. I don't know. There's still so much to declutter in this house. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to run out of um, videos to film. I'm always afraid of that. Like, they're going to get tired of me doing the same thing, but my gosh, literally, I just feel like I go through stuff on a weekly basis, but there's still more, so I always got that for you. But anyway, it's late now. I stopped a couple times, and um, you can probably hear Bodie. I stopped a couple times. Say hello. Can you say hi? He says greetings and salutations. Anyways, I'm gonna take him OUT for the last time. And then I'm gonna get um, comfy cozy and go to night night. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so close to being done with this, you guys. It's not even funny. So close, yet so far away. But anyway, we're going to go. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and I hope you got motivated. But we love you and we appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay? Bye.